All right, hey everyone, um, we're still in 3-4. Um, we're finding the mean and standard deviation on the calculator. So we'll use our calculator to find mean and standard deviation. Um, so we have one year's month of electric bills in dollars for a family in the Southeast show below. Um, so our electric bills probably aren't as high here unless you have AC. Um, but here are all, is our electric bill and we wanna find the mean and standard deviation. And we're only describing this year. So that means this would be a population. So we'll write that down before we use the calculator. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and enter the data into the calculator. So we're gonna hit stat edit. This is our favorite menu. Um, so stat edit, you probably have data left over. So you're gonna go all the way to the top where the L is highlighted, you're gonna hit clear, enter. Don't hit delete. Clear, looks like it does nothing, but then you hit enter and it clears it. So then enter this data. And then same menu over and over, we hit stat, we go over to calc, and we do one bar stat. Let me get rid of all the extra stuff so it's simple. And then we don't have frequencies this time, so we only look at L1, right? L2 is when we have frequencies. And we just hit enter. And you'll notice I added this new piece of information. Um, this is just so we can check our work. Um, you can't do this in real life, but you can do this in chat, uh, stat class. You'll see that that number matches. So it has no meaning for us. It's more just to check for typos. So that matches the calculator. All right, so X bar is the mean, um, but since we're using a population, we're gonna use the mu symbol instead. So the average would be $106.67. Since it's a bill, I might as well put the dollar sign. And then we're gonna use sigma this time because it's a population. So 42.214. And that's my mean and standard deviation. So S would be incorrect because it's not a sample. All right, let's just do one final example on the calculator. And that's it for three, four. Um, so GPA is something you're all used to for being an average, right? Grade point average. Um, and it's a good example of frequency. So your grade, is basically like the data value. 4.0 is a data value. And then units is how many times, right? So that would be frequency. So we're gonna go back to having an L1 and an L2. And we'll find the average, because grade point average is an average. So stat edit, remember again, you can go to the top, clear, enter, and we'll type all of the grades. So even if it has a frequency of zero, I'm gonna type it so I don't make any errors. So I'm gonna type all the grades in L1. And then all the frequencies. So units, right, is how many times you got that grade. And I'm missing, notice my lists are uneven. That means I messed up, I missed one. Some of you may have caught it. I missed the 3.0, which means I really have to retype everything because everything's off. So if your lists are uneven, it will give you an error message. Uneven means they're not the same length. The calculator will freak out at that. And then once you have it all entered, we're gonna to go to our new favorite menu, stat, one var stat, and you have to tell it to look at L2 or it will not look at it. So it doesn't know it, you want it to look at it unless you tell it. Um, so not all the calculators have parentheses, so mine does, but they don't all have parentheses. And then grade point average would just be X bar. So your grade point average would be 2.31 here. 
308 would round up to 231. And then again, you can use this to check for typos, which it matches. Um, standard deviation doesn't really have any meaning for grade point average, so we're done. And that's 3-4, just a quick section on using the calculator. All right, I'll see you back for 3-5.